welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to this stunning dingle peninsula on the west coast of ireland so today is a day that i decided to come back down here because of a storm like i mentioned in my last episode here actually if you haven't seen the episode i linked to it here but i visited another location before i came here and i wanted to come for the remnants of storm uh, ernesto or you know, yeah i think ernesto ernesto uh, which is now well, it was actually a hurricane, Ernesto, I think, but yeah, whichever, they're all giving them different names. It's now called Storm Lillian, anyway, as it reaches Ireland. But the gap that I have is a couple of hours before a huge amount of rain is due to come in. So I've come here because I wanted to make sure that I had, number one, good wind, number two, good swells, and I'm seeing some interesting swells so far, and ultimately, I wanted to have light. Now, the location that I've come to here, Right behind me here, actually, but better see it on this side better, is the original Dunquin Pier. So, uh, if you visit uh, Dingle, you know about Dunquin Pier. It's a pier which is quite famous from an Instagram point of view in the last number of years, but it's just a lovely curving pier that winds out like this. But down below me here is the original one. Um, so this is where people would have come ashore from behind me here, which is this island, which is the Blasket Islands. And that's where they would have come ashore back in the day. But I've come down here because it allows me to get close to the water. And the closer I get to the water, the bigger the waves will be and the more opportunity I have to be able to get up close to them. Now, looking over here, which is where I want to go, I'm seeing quite a lot of large waves that are breaking. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get as close as I want to get, but I'm going to try nonetheless. And over here on my right hand side, I'll give you a look at them here, I'll cut to a piece of footage. There's a load of seabirds. So obviously there's a shoal of fish that have come in here and they're fishing from them. I can see some gannets as well. So today with me, I borrowed a lens from Dermid. It's a Canon 100 to 500 RF. And I wanted well to test it out. And I think today might be a good opportunity to test it. Not only from where we are, look at that. Uh, not only from where we are, but also with the birds. So I don't know if we'll do it or not, we'll see. I'm not a wildlife photographer, but hey, guess what? You gotta give it a go, really, don't you? So that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm more interested in as you saw here and there, the big waves that are breaking there behind. So yeah, welcome to the Wild Atlantic Way. Welcome to Dingle, and let's see what we get today. Let's go. that big bright ball of light behind me is helping me quite a lot because over here there's a hell of a lot of birds that are milling in and around and when the light is coming it's helping me because it's giving me to get a fast shutter speed so i have this 100 to 500 on the camera at the moment here and i'm shooting in this direction and i'm at 1 1250th 1, of a second iso is at 100 and i'm at f 5.6 and Straight away I noticed that this is better than my Sigma 150 to 600 because it's faster to focus. And then if I put it into manual mode, I can get really fast high speed shutters. And also that distance of 100 to the 500, I think is a good sweet spot. Now, this lens is an L lens. It's a very good lens. Um, it's not mine, as I said, I borrowed it from the King of Gas, which is Dermot O'Donovan. But yeah, interesting there now to take a couple of shots of those birds. And then just out here, there was a lot of gannets and they were dive bombing into the water so they're hard to photograph but again i'm not a wildlife photographer but i said okay i'll give it a go too so hopefully i managed to catch a couple of those as they kind of tuck their wings in and they you know pierce the water um which is definitely interesting and something different but look what a phenomenal backdrop to be able to have here and the light right now is stunning so i'm going to go over here next and i'm going to change out to my more traditional uh, 1635 and I'm going to try and get some shots of these waves as they're breaking here I'm probably going to get wet but do you know what I've always said you know if you're not getting wet and you're doing seascape you're not a seascape photographer, photographer you're a coastal photographer so if I get wet it's all par for the course but I'm going to go over here to this area and then I'm going to come out along this and stand around about there so yeah here's my sequence of shots in here hopefully I got something to show you if I have a lot of them you'll see a lot of shots if I have one or two of them you'll see one or two shots but yeah we'll join back when we get over here then as well for this stunning, stunning location. Oh, 
Look, I just missed that one. I can't wait to get down there. Okay, yeah, here's the shots. Going over there next. Join us in Donegal 2025 for the ultimate Irish landscape photography experience. Five nights of accommodation, full Irish breakfasts, luxury transportation to all shoots, and of course, three charismatic instructors. Well, well two plus Bernard. If you'd like to join us for a pint of Guinness and some spectacular vistas, there's a link in the description below. Hope to see you there. I'm over here and this is going to be incredible. Some ginormous waves are coming in here and they're breaking out behind me. Now where I'm going to go is just up here uh, behind my arm and that gives me an opportunity to look out at these islands, catch all these rocks and then catch these waves as they're smashing in over them. But what an absolutely stunning spot. Here actually is the original pier. Obviously it's been done up since because these steps weren't there back in the day. But this is where the boats would have come in here originally from um, Blaskets. And where I'm gonna go is up to these rocks, like I said here, get some nice shots and hopefully get some fantastic wave action. Now, before I do that actually, while I had the long lens on, I decided to take some, oh, take some shots over here onto Dunmore Head. Over onto the Blaskets actually, there's a set of white cottages that you can barely generally make out. But because I'm on the 100 to 500, I've gone and zoomed into those. And then I have a different, uh, perspective or viewpoint here of Antirok, which is a kind of a pyramid shaped island that's just off here on the coast. So I got some shots of that too. Hopefully I'm about to get a shot. There was a couple of birds going in between me and there, but I think they're a bit too close for the focus. But oh, look at that. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you a look at those now. I'll continue on over here and hopefully get some shots of these incredible waves. Now I'm finally over to my spot that I wanted to get to and 
look where I am look right below me here this is just absolutely stunning now these waves that are coming in here are quite ferocious so it's fantastic to be here right now and all I have to do effectively is just watch outside watch them as they're coming in and then just time my shots now at the moment I've got my polarizer on and I also have my uh, six stop on and that's giving me an opportunity to get my preferred time which is half a second so even in this bright light that I have which okay it's gone a small bit dull now but as the sun comes in and out I'm able to control that exposure but that half a second is giving me then phenomenal texture in the waves I'm getting some as they're crashing and hitting uh, there and then I'm also getting as they're crashing and hitting below me as well here but it's just a matter of waiting for the right moment and then just grabbing the shot it is stunning the light now as well is playing ball and up here too I have a set of clouds that I'm actually including in the shot now they're moving quite fast as well so I'll change that again but I'm at 16 mil as wide as I can go I'm in landscape orientation here comes the sun again here comes another wave so yeah this is just phenomenal it doesn't really go go without saying why they call this the wild atlantic way but it's clear why they call it the wild atlantic way because it is certainly wild here's the first set of shots anyway now and i'll continue on and see what else i find from there of these waves are absolutely incredible you can see the size of them coming in here and then they're smashing on these rocks below me now i have changed out now to a portrait or oh look at that yes i've changed out now to a portrait orientation and what that's allowing me to do then as well as have no distractions left or right fill the frame with what i want of interest which are these rocks below me here and then these waves as they're crashing and then i have light over on the blaskets as well it's looking absolutely incredible incredible still at half a second at the moment when the sun comes out here and these waves hit oh insane i love this place and this is why i always keep coming back here it never fails it always delivers and now i'll give you a look at the shots it's delivered right now
Well, what an absolutely incredible morning. Well, it's into afternoon now, so midday effectively, and I'm out here shooting, getting some incredible wave action along this stunning part of Ireland. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. What I did there a moment ago actually is I put on the long lens and just tried to pick out a couple of small little things anyway, uh, outside on some of the rocks, so some birds sitting on the rocks, but also picking out some of those waves as they break as well. But this is incredible. <laughs> So thank you very much as always for joining. Make sure to join me next Wednesday for my episode Behind the Raw, where I'll talk you through an edit from one of the amazing shots that I've gotten from here. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Give me a comment and I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. So until the next time on the stunning Wild Atlantic Way in Ireland, Schlange Fall. <laughs>